Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here and in today's video we've got a technical analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin and Tron. So let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin guys, after a couple of upward movements guys, as as predicted on Twitter and in my previous videos, Bitcoin is consolidating, people are taking some profits. What's kind of uh, scary to notice guys, usually in the, in the previous um, price jumps we 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 jumped to 6.6.18 and in my previous videos you you had seen that uh, we we always kind of jumped up to 618 level before before we went down as you can see 618 level there guys and in, in this in the previous one it didn't even hit 618 level so as you could say that's a bit bearish because it dropped off below the 618 level guys and and now this is even lower we've we've not even hit 618 and we're going down and we're forming higher lows guys we're in a massive downtrend so nothing has really changed on the longer time on the longer time scale we haven't broken out and 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 i mean if i had to predict where we're going it would it's looking like it's going down um unless there's some news coming out i, I don't think we can i think there's a good chance we're going to break these levels and then the another thing is the 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 the, the more times we hit the resistance level the more likely it is to break it so there's a strong potential that we break it guys and i've talked about where we could where we could see some support maybe around the 5000 level the psychological level maybe the 4000 level 886 could be a reversal level but we'll have to see guys let's not get too far ahead and on the weekly chart guys oh, i always like to start off with the weekly chart and again here we are on a downward trend guys we start we're gonna form a couple of inside bar inside bar guys probably for the next couple of weeks and uh, maybe end of october where, where we see a breakout which will be very very interesting to see so in the short term guys what am i looking at in the short term guys a couple of things that i'm looking at is the first thing is uh, the resistance level so uh, in, in the last high that we went up we we broke through the 263 level it's starting to move up now um i think we could see some support at the 50 percent level there's a 50 moving average as well so that that's a place where we could see some um a reversal because we have broken through the 236 two, level um and it would be good to see hit the 618 level because in the previous uh rallies we hit the 618 level so there is a good chance that it, we could hit the 618 level but it's difficult to see guys what happens below if it breaks below 618 level if it, if it breaks below the 50 percent of this last um rally i'll probably get out guys if it breaks below this to if 50 i mean it could probably see a bounce around 50 the 50 percent and 618 level but I'd, I'd i'm not really as bullish on bitcoin guys and um, if you have if you were holding guys there might be some profit taking and um, so that's what i'm kind of looking at in the short term guys uh, moving averages with the moving we're below the moving averages now so we could probably hit this i mean as you can see we could probably break lower we could break this the resistance level and form uh, another lower low and lower highs so it's not looking great guys um so there's two scenarios which is it, we we are just it was just a bounce and a downward trend or we could see uh like an abc correction or some consolidation before we go up to the 7000 level i don't think we won't i don't think we'd go above that 618 to run this level guys i don't think we'll break this resistance level this is where i see ourselves going if we if we have another another leg higher but it is unlikely so that's my thoughts on bitcoin guys um it's nothing not it's kind of sideward movements guys there's, there's nothing to sell or or buy there's no not many setups that i'm looking at in ethereum um, sorry in bitcoin now let's have a look at ethereum and um, ethereum guys i'll just do a quick analysis there's not too much to look at again sorry about that guys this is my different um account ethereum um it's it, on the longer term guys it is more bearish than bitcoin guys we have we not we haven't got many previous lows and it's not looking great guys bitcoin we've got some some support like this this is a support line for bitcoin there's some support for bitcoin around five seven five level but in 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 ethereum guys there's not much support so there is some support from june in bitcoin in ethereum you have to go all the way back to july to see tc support so it's not looking great for ethereum a um, couple of things to look out for now is i was hoping ethereum did get a good bounce with good volume i was hoping ethereum breaks that tooth um 
236 level and goes higher but unfortunately it failed at the 236 level so it's not looking great guys and um, we'll see if it can hold above the moving average and move up uh, but it's not looking great for ethereum either but it could it could consolidate guys we'll have to see what happens is we can't just make judgments now there is a potential that it will form it could it could form some support maybe the 50 percent level of the last rally but we'll have to see how it plays out on the shorter time scale i'm not really looking at the shorter time scale for ethereum as i'm as I'm, as I'm not looking for any setups but potentially it could get a bounce off this lot the the resistance turns into a support could get some support around that level guys but we'll have to see how it plays out i, I wouldn't buy or sell at these levels whereas xrp guys xrp we had a great bullish run and i've on my channel i talk a lot about xrp bullish wise on the longer term stuff but on the shorter term stuff guys we'll have to be careful guys because it went up so much it's so far away from the moving averages and whenever things go up it always consolidates and goes down where am i looking for it to drop down to a 50 percent level if it holds a 50 percent level that would be great but um i have this is again this is my um different account i haven't got the 200 moving average on here but i think the 200 moving average and and the 618 level could be potentially where it drops down and and uh, get the moving averages move up gets a jump from the 618 level that could be a potential i was hoping that it wouldn't go below the 50 percent level but i think 618 level it could see a jump and and the longer term stuff if it can continue to rally two th two three six is a really important level for for xrp as you can see it lines up with the previous highs as well so i think two three six could be an important level for xrp guys and uh, so what what how far it can go it can go to like around one cent it's a, it's a resistance there it lines up with two three six we've got confidence there so there's a potential it will hit the one dollar if it can rally and break the previous high and i think it, there will be a lot of resistance around the one dollar mark not just the resistance level previously it's also the fibonacci level from the long swing high and also guys one dollar is a psychological level where people could be taking some profits so that's what we're looking at for xrp you could well, you might want to buy some of the pullback to these moving averages but be careful how you trade guys uh, but there are there if it hits the 618 level and there's a uh, bull there's bull volume there's bull volume guys um up and then the price action looks bullish i might buy some around the uh, 618 level because it, 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 xrp is the one who led this uh, rally and xrp could have another big leg higher uh, litecoin guys i'll quickly look at this i mean the lo longer term guys there's not much to look at in the longer term guys we are where, where we are really on the longer term stuff on the shorter term guys it is forming a bear flag guys as you can see it is forming we're in a longer term downtrend it is forming a bear flag as you can see this is just my thoughts guys i wouldn't sell sell a litecoin right now i'd probably wait for it to break these levels there is some support from previous uh previously so it could maybe see another good touch and go up but it is looking bearish guys we are below the moving average on the short shorter time scale and it is a bear flag because we're in a longer downtrend so litecoin could not looking great if i was to be in litecoin or bitcoin i would be in bitcoin and um out of the out of the ones that i've looked at xrp is probably looking the strongest but as i've said in the title of the video people are taking profit and we are seeing some consolidation we are in a bear market guys so be careful with your trades Look, finally just quickly looking at tron there's probably two scenarios for tron that i'm looking at. again i'm looking at fairly i'm not looking at the weekly levels i'm looking at um daily and the shorter time scale um there's two scenarios guys we, we we are in this wedge and we could be moving sideways and and possibly break lower the other so that's the first scenario i haven't drawn this right and um, um, that's the first scenario guys and and the other scenario is guys it could have a move up from the 50 percent 50 percent fibonacci level and there's moving averages here as well so we could see a move up a consolidation and rally up or we could be in a wedge formation just moving sideways so there's two different scenarios i what you could do is you, you could set a a lot 
alert at these levels if it breaks these levels if it forms a higher low and breaks these levels you could want you might want to buy some tron but currently guys i'm not looking to buy a tron and um, coins that are, there are some old coins that are looking good if you want to buy it i'll post it on my twitter guys and I, maybe i'll make videos on youtube as well on on some of the old coins that are looking good one old coin that is looking good is probably xvg and and strat stratus the two coins that are looking quite good uh, there are a couple of old coins that i'm looking at. i usually post it on my twitter guys so if you want to you can follow me there uh, sorry one thing i haven't mentioned is bitcoin shorts are dropping uh, could this mean there could be another bitcoin rally bitcoin uh, uh, bitcoin shorts was an almost at an all-time high so maybe there's another rally bears are probably people that are short are probably covering slightly so that that could mean something again i wouldn't trade just off that guys i need to see the price action go my way as well but th these are what i'm looking at guys um let me know your thoughts guys and this is uh, a technical analysis video I've, i haven't done really a lot of technical analysis videos so usually let me know i'm still trying to find my style and, and try to present it the best way so give me give please give feedback on how you want technical analysis to be fed back to you but I've been doing these for years and I'm just learning how to explain it to better as well. But I would be doing a lot more technical analysis video guys because on this channel I usually do price predictions breaking news i want to be doing just solid technical analysis i have done technical analysis previously years ago but i'd like to be doing a lot more maybe three four times a week and whenever there's some big news i will be doing technical analysis i'll keep on doing my price predictions for coins that i, I look out for mainly two popular coins are xrp and tron but i do analysis on litecoin verge icx stellar electronium if you bought electronium a week ago you should be sitting on some good profits so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it please scroll down subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button and leave your xrp address below to win hundred dollars worth of xrp so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much